she said she had five corrugated pieces or five boxes so that she had 10 corrugated pieces. Four. And the fifth one here needs to be cut. So when you run out of space, you need to make sure that you have two layers. So I realized that while I was cutting my boxes down to size, I did not cut them open like she did. And I'm gonna put the glue on the inside. I'm going to glue them to each other and I'm gonna use the masking tape. I figured out that I can just do a big old blob in the center and pull it down. Use that to get the bottom. Bottom's coated. Now just go up, up to the side. That's coated. Now I go up is allowing me to get everything nice and coated because she says that the glue is what makes it nice and sturdy, so be very liberal. And now, I am no longer on that struggle bus. I'm gonna trim it to here. I may just duct tape the way that she did the center. I may just duct tape some of my additional pieces underneath here, where I have this extra space because it protrudes out a bit. I have a little bit of a gap here. So I may just go ahead and extend this to this side. It was such a booger bear, but I have just cut down the bottom portion. I cut that part off. Those are excess pieces to cut through each layer. And that was very difficult because the glue is mostly dry and it was a little. See that I cut down the bottom part and now it aligns very well with the back of the couch and the side. is not as easy as she made it seem. Maybe I was wrong. Maybe this isn't. <laughs> Maybe it wasn't just 24 hours to dry. Maybe it took 24 hours to apply the, the paper. Ooh. The back part of the couch was leaking glue at the bottom, so I used entirely too much glue. So I deconstructed the pieces. You can still see the screws. And I taped the bottom portion. So first I folded paper towels and then doubled. I taped, put duct tape on the bottom. onto the plastic at night and so now I'm going to reconstruct it and move on to step the next step <laughs> this time I screwed six screws down the side Now I've screwed the brackets in, but I have a problem.
And I get you enough glue. Mm-hmm. I got you enough glue. The Green Island Show. She's over there watching. Okay, so she said to space out the lines five inches apart. I have my ruler and I totally lost my way to go all the way down with the tufting. I think I just want to do it at the top since I'm new to this. And because it is for my dog, I don't know how high she'll be sitting. I hot glued the step to the base of the bed and um, I got a little electrical tape so this the step was used was created with hot glue with the boxes in the inside which I, I already showed you and then now I'm going to flip this over and tape on the bottom to uh, fortify the connection between the step and the bed and then I'm going to put the batting on top of this and this i think i'll do some tufting on the front of the bed to match the top of the bed that's what i'll do Not a pro, but one of the tips that I learned is that I can just stick some scrap material in there if I hot glue it, because I did it here and you can't even tell. Because I'm going to cover it with my buttons anyways. 